contact with me. Welcome to Battle Breakdown from How It's Played, the series that examines famous scenes from movies and television through the lens of a role-playing game and illustrates how those events might play out at the game table. In this edition, we'll be looking at the climax of 1984's The Karate Kid as if it was an encounter in Pathfinder 2nd Edition. Specifically, we'll be using this as an example of how you can manipulate the initiative order by using the delay and ready actions. In this scene, we see the final round of a karate tournament between Cobra Kai's Johnny Lawrence and Miyagi-Do's Daniel LaRusso. The score is tied and the next point decides it all. Participants in this encounter include Johnny and Daniel, obviously, but just for fun, let's also include Johnny's karate teacher John Kreese and the unnamed referee played by Pat Johnson. First, let's set the initiative order. Since this is a sporting tournament divided into distinct rounds, the GM has decided to reset the initiative with every round and treating each as its own mini-encounter. Crease and the referee each roll perception for initiative, and since this is a sporting tournament, the GM allows Johnny and Daniel the choice of either rolling athletics or perception for their initiatives. Johnny wins initiative, followed by Daniel, Crease, and finally the referee. In most home games, I assume the referee would not actually be in the initiative order, and the encounter would just begin when he signals the start of the round, but since this is a video talking about initiative, I'm going to leave the referee in there just for the sake of illustration. So Johnny wins initiative and gets to go first, but knows he'll be penalized if he moves or strikes before the referee signals the start of the round. So instead of acting immediately, Johnny uses the delay action and steps outside of the initiative order, with the intent of taking his full turn later after the referee. Doing so costs him nothing, and he will have all three actions to spend after he steps back into the initiative order, but he must remain at that point in initiative for the remainder of the encounter. Daniel is second in initiative, and with his first action, he uses the Miyagi Crane Stance feat to enter that stance. While in this stance, he is able to execute the Miyagi Crane kick attack as a single action. And whereas Johnny was focused on the referee starting the match and delayed his turn, Daniel instead focuses on his opponent, who he knows is an aggressive fighter. Instead of delaying like Johnny, Daniel uses the ready action. This costs him his remaining two actions this turn and requires him to state a conditional trigger in single action or a free action to be used if the conditional trigger occurs before the start of his next turn. Daniel's player says, I use the ready action. If Johnny moves into an adjacent space, I attack him with a Miyagi crane kick. His turn immediately ends after using ready. Next up is Sensei Kreese. A little known fact is Kreese took the bar dedication and the inspirational performance archetype feats. On his turn, Kreese spends his first action to cast Inspire Courage which only requires a single action and vocal component. Finish him! This grants Johnny a plus one status bonus to attack rolls, damage rolls, and to saves versus fear effects until the start of his next turn. Last in initiative is the referee who uses his first action to signal the start of the round and spends his second and third actions to use the ready action. He states his conditional trigger as, if either competitor lands a blow on the other, I will award them a point and announce they have won. That immediately ends the referee's turn. Johnny now declares he is done delaying and moves back into the initiative order here. He still has all three actions available to spend, and on the first action, he strides two squares forward adjacent to Daniel. And this satisfies the triggering condition stated by Daniel's player when he used the ready action, and allows him to perform a Miyagi crane kick as a reaction. He rolls a natural 20, executes an allegedly illegal kick square in the face of his opponent, and wins the 1984 All Valley Under 18 Karate Tournament. Let's feed that encounter one more time. Him. 
That's one way this could have gone, but there are others. Food for thought for all of you viewers, let's say instead of using a stride action to move towards Daniel, what if Johnny had instead used two step actions to close that distance? Would he have triggered Daniel's readied action then? Leave your thoughts and reasoning in the comments. And as a follow up to this video, I will leave links to my full rule explanation videos on initiative in the description, and please leave your suggestions for future battle breakdowns in the comments. And as always, I want to make sure to thank all of my patrons and everyone else who supports me by subscribing and liking these videos. Until next time, take care and happy gaming.